and welcome to Dartmoor. Today I'm walking to three stone circles at three different locations on Dartmoor. Actually one of the locations has a double circle so that's four stone circles but um, the last one is actually really interesting. I won't tell you why now but I'll tell you when we get there. So join me for a great walk on Dartmoor. Let's go! The weather forecast today for Dartmoor, or this part of Dartmoor, was for sunshine. And there's not much of it yet, so hopefully it might come out in a while. But then, as with Dartmoor, the weather can change just like that. And uh, at the moment, I'm walking through Fernworthy Forest. And the difference in the temperature here, compared with the open moor, is so much milder. Look behind me, the sun's shining. <laughs> uh, coming up now to Asticum Stone Row. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, it's one of the stone rows in amongst Fernworthy Forest. And as with most stone rows, there's a burial or a cairn at the start here. But what a cracking stone row this is, look at this. Here we are, the first of today's stone circles. It's Fernworthy Stone Circle, hidden amongst Fernworthy Forest. Look at that. So that's the first of today's stone circles. We're now heading on to the next, which is my all time favourite on Dartmoor Grey Weathers. Let's go. Back out on the open moor now, and we're now heading to Grey Weathers stone circles. And then from there, we'll head up to uh, Sidiford Tor and beyond there for the final stone circle, which is quite interesting. I'll tell you why soon. If you've watched my videos before, you've probably heard me say a few times how much I absolutely love this place. Greyweather's Stone Circles. It's probably my favourite spot on Dartmoor. But yeah, I love this place so much. Two perfectly formed stone circles side by side. Wow. Now on uh, Sitterford Tour. And before we head down to the final stone circle, let me tell you why I find it so interesting. If you want to go for a run or a walk on Dartmoor, I normally use Ordnance Survey maps to, to plot the route. And I've ran past this stone circle many times, and I've never knew it was there, didn't know, because it's not on the OS map. And I came across it by pure chance on Google Earth, and I saw this stone circle, and I thought, Strange, I've never seen that before. I've gone past it quite a few times, so I looked back on the OS map, it wasn't there. So I researched it on Google, and I found it, and it was discovered only 15 years ago. It was discovered by an amateur archaeologist who, after uh, a moorland fire, noticed three slabs lying down. And after further inspection, he noticed there were 30 slabs in a circle. Wow. I 
ran past here, I walked past here so many times and the stone circle is just here. You won't see it yet because the stones are lying down. But hopefully one day they might restore them back into their standing positions. So here we are, Sitterford Stone Circle. And as you can see, the stones are lying flat. So you can't really make it out that well from ground level. So I'm going to try and pop my drone up in a minute for a bit of aerial footage and have a look and see how it looks from above. So this stone circle has been here for over 4,000 years and it's remained undiscovered since it was abandoned. And imagine how that person felt finding it, discovering it. Oh, I'd be buzzing if that was me. What a great walk, 11 miles and three stone circles, Fernworthy, Grey Weathers and Sidiford. I hope you enjoyed the walk, if you have please like the video and maybe subscribe to my channel for more videos. But before I finish the walk today, I'm going to stop off for a quick treat, come and join me. glass of Devon Red to finish up the video in my favourite pub, the Warren House Inn on Dartmoor. Cheers! <laughs>